Too many feelings, too many feelings. Um, excited, um, I just don't know how to feel, to be honest. It's, it's really strange seeing yourself in, you know, a fashion magazine that you would see the likes of artistas amongst the Philippines, people that I would look up to, you know, and I'm standing alongside them, which is really just flattering, I suppose. I mean, it's always been interesting to me ever since I was young. I would look at the girls in like cream silk bottles and uh, be like, oh, I want to be one of those, one of those girls, and have long, luscious looks like them. But I never thought that it was practical, really. I thought it's always oh, just a dream. And there's so many people, the population of the Philippines is so large, and there's so many people that want that dream of being an artist or a singer, a dancer, an actor. Um, so many people going for the same goal that I just didn't really think that that was practical. So it was corporate for me. I went up the corporate path. Yeah. It Girl. Uh, when I think of It Girls, I think of females like Georgina Wilson and Celine and uh, Anne and all those kind of girls. And you know what, like, I'd, like to, I'd like to be the next It Girl. That would be super exciting. I don't know if I like, agree with it just yet. I don't know if I could ever agree with it myself, but I'd like to be, I suppose. Uh, because I'm actually kind of interested, well not kind of, I'm totally interested in hosting within the Filipino entertainment industry. Tony Gonzaga is somebody that I've just, she's amazing, she's great. Um, maybe a mixture of Tony Gonzaga and Anne Curtis because they're both amazing in their own right. So. I think that I'm basically the same, except when I'm off camera and I'm at home, I'm a little bit more like serious about things like dishes and groceries and my brothers. Like my brother's well being, like my younger brother Jack, my older brother Tom, um, just about their day to days, I get really strict. I am like super overprotective of my brothers. Yeah, it's just I, I want to see them doing well for themselves. So, um, if they're not doing stuff by my standards, <laughs> then I really like try to push them to, you know, eat well, go to the gym, uh, make sure that you're sleeping right, make sure that you're eating, drinking properly. Just as because we don't really have like a mother in the house, so I'm kind of taking over that role. But the way I am right now is how I usually am day to day. He was an elite gymnast. Is that something that you knew? Yeah, James was. We both went into gymnastics at the same time at around, I don't know, less than 10 years old. And I went to the kids' class because I was too scared to do anything. And James went straight to the elite. Um, yeah, he could do flips and jumps and all that. Walk on his hands for like hundreds of meters. Yeah. Maybe not hundreds of meters, but he could go a long way. Hi Pepsters, my name is Lauren Reed. Please grab a copy of my preview September issue. It's in stores at the moment um, and all throughout the month. You can also follow me on my social media accounts if you'd like to. Facebook, Lauren Reed, obviously. Um, on my Instagram, Lauren Reed a book. And my Twitter and Snapchat is Lauren D. Reed. Thank you. Hi Pepsters, my name is Lauren Reed. Um, to, um, <laughs>